Hi, today I'm going to talk about how we organize data or how we organize information. Data is just another word for numbers and things that we and things that you know, especially things that you can measure and count. So today we're going to take a look at these teddy bears or these counting bears. And we're going to make, we're going to collect or we're going to create some data about these bears. So how can we do that? Well, first, let's just take each bear and let's line them up by color. All right, so there we go. We got these yellow ones here. Oh, got that one in the wrong place. The red ones. Uh huh. I'm going to put one bear in each square. That just seems like a, a convenient way to do this. So that makes it easy for me to find out. Let's turn this guy around. We've already got, I think I got them all facing that way, so you might as well make them all face this way too. All right. Do I have enough room for all of the bears? I hope I do. I might have to move them over just a little bit, huh? All right, so here we go. So we got green bears, we got red bears, we have yellow bears, and we have blue bears. I'll bet you have a favorite color of bear, don't you? Well, anyhow, this is data. This is information, and it's information we can count and measure. So, and that's the important thing to remember about data. It is something that you can count and measure. So in this data set, because a data set is all of the information put together, in this set of data, oh, Keep finding bears that are backwards. In this data set or chunk of information, we know a lot about these bears. We know that we have one, two, three bears, or three green bears, one, two, three, four, five red bears, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten yellow bears, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue bears. And I can look at this and I can say that, that I have the smallest number of bears, the least amount of bears are the green ones. And I can also look at it and say that the most amount of bears is the yellow ones. See, all I have to do is look at how far the line goes. It's shorter, that's much longer. But I can also find other things. I can use this to find the differences between each kind of bear. So I can say that there are one, two bear, two more red bears than there are green bears. Because see the green bears go to here, and the red bears start here, and there's one, two more. So what is the difference between the red bears and the yellow bears? Let's have a count. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five red bears. And how many more yellow bears do we have than red bears? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five more yellow bears than there are red bears. Now, I've got, a, I, I've got something to ask you. What would happen if these two yellow bears went away? and two red bears came in and joined them. Huh, we still, have, we still have more yellow bears, but look at the blue ones. They are exactly the same. So I can look at this and I can say, oh, we have the same number of red bears as we do blue bears. And what's really cool is I can just look at it and I don't have to count it because they're all on the same line. So data is really important for understanding and measuring things. But putting things on a line like this is only one way to do it. Let me show you another way. Let's look over here at, we're gonna use tally marks, okay? Now, how many green bears do I have? I have one, two, three green bears. In case you've never seen tally marks before, tally marks work in a very special way. How many red bears do we have? And I'll show you how they work. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven red bears. All right, let me pull these aside. So this is how tally marks work. I have seven. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That makes it really easy to count because I know that this is five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Let's see how many yellow bears we have. Do you remember when we looked at them? Let's see, two, four, six, eight. All right, so we have eight yellow bears. Notice how I did that skip counting there? It just made it real easy for me to count it. That's why you want to, that's another good reason to, to practice your skip counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's look at our blue bears again. How many blue bears do we have? So we have two, four, six, plus one gives me seven. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's another way to show it. And so you can go out and you can say, how many green bears do we have? We got three, all right, one, two, three, and you mark them off. But that is only, there is yet another way to show all of this. Three, you could just write the number three. Five, six, seven, you could just write the number seven. Five, six, seven, eight, you could just write the number eight. And five, six, seven, you could write the number seven again. Now, here's where tally marks come in really handy. Watch what I'm going to do. How many, how many bears is all of this put together? Now, I could add these all up in my head because I've got some strategies for that. But today, I don't feel like adding. I feel like counting. So watch what I'm going to do. Now, remember how these are groups of five. I'm going to take one away from here, and I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to take one away from here, and I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to take this one away from here, and I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to take this one away from here, and I'm going to put it over here. Now we count by fives. We go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All put together, I have 25 bears. It's the same if I add it. 7 plus 7 is 14. Plus 7 more is going to be 21. And I have one left over for the 8. So that's going to be 22. Plus 3 more, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Now, that was pretty cool because in my head I was moving those numbers around. Watch this. Now, watch this. Let's just count all of these bears. Well, we're going to count them here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. And one more, 25. Hope that helps you. Good luck. Enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.